Hi, YouTube. Okay, I am going to be doing my late two week update. Brianna was actually two weeks on the 28th, but she had a doctor's appointment on the 29th. And then my husband, um, he actually was gone for a few days um, out of town at work. And he had just gotten home when he was here Thursday and Friday. <clears throat> he was off those days and um, we just, you know, wanted to spend some time together. So I didn't do a video then, but I'm doing it now. So, um, as far as weight goes, um, my final weight at the hospital was 148 pounds or 149 I don't remember. One of those. And um, when I came home, I weighed. I was 138. One week after, I weighed, and I was 132. So, uh, last week, I was 132. And this week, um, kind of embarrassed to say, <laughs> I'm still 132. Um, yeah, it hasn't gone down yet, and I'm getting really mad at my scale. I'm tired of seeing 132, so I'm hoping that by next week I will be in the 120s somewhere. 129 would work for me at this point. <sighs> um, as far as Brianna goes, at birth she was 7 pounds 6 ounces a week after, sorry, her one week after appointment. She was 6 pounds 15 ounces. And then at her last doctor appointment, a week later, her two-week appointment, she was 7 pounds, 8 ounces. So she had gained 2 ounces more than her birth weight. So that was good. Um, she's doing really well. She did have slight jaundice. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video. Her first appointment when we went in, the doctor said that she looked quite yellow. And um, she actually wanted to get her blood drawn. She said, okay, well, I'm going to send you to the, to, the, to the lab to get her blood drawn so we can test her bilirubin. And I was like, oh, do we have to? You know, I mean, obviously, I don't want her to get poked. I don't want my baby to get her blood drawn. And uh, I guess the doctor felt bad because <laughs> she was like, okay, well, We'll just wait until next week, and if it hasn't improved, then we'll, we'll um, go from there. But she said that she looks really good. I don't know if y'all can see here, but she's not yellow at all anymore. She, uh, she's quite pink. So, um, let's see. Her last, at her last appointment, it wasn't really like a full doctor appointment. They just wanted to check her weight, um, make sure she wasn't jaundiced anymore, and... Uh, she had to get that horrible foot poke that they do where they have to fill up those five, like, dime-sized circles of blood. <sighs> I hate that stupid test. In my opinion, they just need to, like, draw a vial of blood and use that. Because when you poke yourself, you don't get that many drops of blood out. And she had to get poked twice because the first drop of blood is not... The first, the first foot poke did not give enough drops of blood to fill them up. And still, after 20 minutes of the nurse squeezing her foot, she still didn't get all five done. So I'm hoping that they accept it because my husband says he's not going to allow them to do that again. <laughs> he said he almost punched the nurse in the face. So, anyway, um, she won't have to go back for two, until she's two months, at her two months, um, birthday, birthday, two months, anniversary, whatever you want to call it, when she's two months, she has to go back and unfortunately get shot. Um, let's see, get back on topic here. 
Um, I'm still breastfeeding. Everything is going really well. Um, I am finding myself supplementing like, I don't know, maybe once every four days or so with formula just because <sighs> she seems to be so needy. She always wants to be latched on and I feel like sometimes I just can't get anything done and um, today I was trying to get quite a few random chores done and she kept wanting to feed and feed and feed. Oh, excuse me. I just ate dinner. <laughs> She, um, she latched on for like 10 minutes and then fell asleep, so I put her down and she was fine for 10 minutes and then she woke up and wanted to eat again. So she latched on the other side and she was done a few minutes later because she fell asleep, so I put her back down and it was like an endless cycle like that. And, um, yeah, it might be TMI, but my boobs were sore. My nipples were very sore and I just couldn't do it. So I gave her formula. And she drank about two ounces. <clears throat> and she was actually asleep for like three hours, so she did good. I actually got to do a little bit of stuff. Um I am trying to pump and get it like a stockpile going. But um yeah, I haven't really gotten that far on that yet. I've got a few bags of formula in the freezer. Um, we are still cloth diapering. I don't know if you can see. Let me just lift her up. She does have a cloth diaper on. Show off your cute little toys. <laughs> um, at uh, the last update that I did, I was saying that we were having a couple blowout issues. Um, now, it, it had switched a few days after that video to um, actual leaking issues. Blowouts weren't really as much of a problem anymore as it was um, her peeing, and I thought it was maybe because the leg holes were not big enough. Ah. Yeah, you look beautiful. Okay, go on. I'm trying to finish this video, please. Go. I like it. Look. Yes, very beautiful. Okay, um, go please. Thank you. I'm missing my balance. Um, anyway, I thought it was because the leg holes weren't tight enough around her little leg. That her leg was just skinny. But, uh, after some trial and error and getting very close to giving up on cloth diapering at least at night until she got bigger, um, I increased the absorbency of her nighttime stuff and that pretty much solved the problem. I just had one newborn cocoa pet in there and apparently she's becoming quite the heavy wetter so that was not enough for her. Um, otherwise everything is going really well with cloth diapering. Um, as far as me, uh, I, I'm still, this might be TMI, just for warning, not bleeding anymore, but I'm still, like, spotting. My husband was worried about it, so he asked the doctor at the doctor's appointment that we went to, and she said that we're fine, that you can you know, bleed up to you six weeks. So, <clears throat> that's going well, and um, I'm still using nursing pads. And, yeah, I'm not having any problems with that either, so... Sorry. Anyway, I guess that is it for this update. Um, I guess I will do... Hey, can you go, please? Thank you. Mom. <sighs> Sorry, I have very stubborn children. Um, anyway, getting sidetracked here. I will do another update. So hopefully it won't be late. Here she is again. Little Miss Brianna. Let me try to get more of her and less of my basket. Can you say hi to the camera? 
Let's get her little onesie on that says just catch. Okay, we're gonna go. Say bye. Oh, okay. She's probably getting out of here. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Sorry for the interruptions. And I will see you hopefully next week. Bye.